Hey, Shad here with Speedax Fast Growing Gear Site on the web, and today we're gonna uncreate the Scorpion XO C110. Before we jump in and tell you all about the Scorpion XO C110, go ahead and subscribe. That helps keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. And if at any point you decide you'd like to purchase one of these C110s from speedax.com, we would appreciate that. There's a link in the description below to shop for this helmet or any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. So Scorpion makes two half shell drop down visor helmets. This is the C110 and this one's a little bit more modern. It has ventilation and just more modern styling. Uh, the other helmet is the C90. The C90 is more of kind of that German helmet vibe. It's a little bit more retro. It does not have that extra ventilation. So it's really kind of an aesthetic thing. They have most of the same features and uh, goodies built into them. Let's talk about the C110 today. So this is a polycarbonate shell. 129 to 139 makes one yours. Two pounds, four ounces, DOT rated two shell sizes that make up sizes from extra small up to 3X. We found this helmet to run true. Go by that Scorpion sizing chart at speedaddicts.com. And remember, if you buy your next helmet from Speedax, we throw in no cost returns. As long as you're in the United States, helmet's still brand new in original condition. Just do it and uh, try that on in your living room. And uh, it comes back new, free return label. We make it easy, give us a shot, we'll treat you like family. Let's talk about the ventilation. So a lot of half shells just omit ventilation. They figure, hey, you got the wind in your face. That's good enough. Not so on the C110. They've got nice little nostril vents here. These are always open. So if you're in hot temps, hot, humid, you want ventilation in your half shell, this is a good option here. You're also gonna get those exhausts. So you get the Venturi exhaust. We're gonna show you underneath the comfort liner how that is going to reach your scalp a little bit later. You're also gonna notice that you do have this visor. This is removable. It does take a wrench to do so. So you can't just snap it off on the run. You have to have a tool with you. So if you packed your Leatherman, you can remove that on the road. Otherwise, the choice is yours. And of course, the drop-down shield. So actuator only on one side. Uh, they do not have a tab on this side, but you're just going to do that manually. So easy up, easy down. It's going to come with a smoke out of the box, but they also have the clear should you want one of those. Let's flip this over and show you the inside of this uh, C110. The other thing that comes in the box in addition to the helmet and the helmet sock is that you get these ear warmers that have speaker pockets. So if you wanna run a comm system, this is a good option. You can stash your speaker pockets right in here and uh, or your speakers in those little pockets. Or if it's just warm out, you wanna run this, the ear warmers. There you go, you strap those on to uh, your chin straps, you're ready to rock. So D-ring closure, nothing uh, special here. This helmet is relatively low profile for a DOT helmet. But warning is, with DOT half shells, they're not gonna sit right against your head. Uh, unfortunately, for those of you who are concerned about the profile and the look, I understand, but for a DOT helmet, you have to have a certain amount of EPS foam in here to actually absorb energy and impact. Therefore, it will sit up a little bit. We'll slide in a little picture of me wearing this so you can understand that it is low profile um, for a DOT. Okay, that is the removable washable liner. We can go ahead and snap this out and show you what we're working with underneath. The EPS foam in here is dual density, which is made to work in a variety of impact scenarios from high energy to lower energy in impacts, which is good for you. And uh, let's just pull this liner out of the way. Okay. Almost there guys, hang in, hang in with me. Okay, there's the liner system. Now, unlike the C90, this actually is channeled and ported, which is important when you have a ventilation system in the helmet. Otherwise, the air doesn't reach your head. And that does it for the C110. You're going to get a five-year warranty from Scorpion XO. And one thing I always like to emphasize with Scorpion is they have a warranty house here in the U.S. It's actually located not far from us here in SoCal. They go out of their way to really take care of customers should anything come up. And five years is about the same as the useful life of the helmets. Three years longer than the industry standard. They're going to protect your investment over there. You still got questions? Don't worry. Rider support is standing by at speedaddicts.com. Email, phone, live chat, however you need them. They're there for you. If you still got questions or comments, of course, the YouTube comment section is always open to you. Appreciate it for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.